हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल टुडे इन ए एंड्रॉइड लर्निंग सीरीज वी विल लर्न ए न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट रूम एपीआई दिस रूम एपीआई इज अ वेरी गुड अल्टरनेटिव ऑफ ओल्डर मेथड ओल्डर बॉयलर प्लेट कोड दैट वी यूज टू इंटरेक्ट विद एस्कोलाइट डेटाबेस मींस इट इज अ वेरी गुड रिप्लेसमेंट ऑफ SQLite Open Helper and SQLite Database classes. Let's understand what is Room and how it is different from older method of SQLite Database interactions. See, so Room API is a persistence library that is a part of Android Jetpack. Now, what is the Android Jetpack? Android Jetpack is a suite of libraries, tools, and guidance. to help developers write high quality apps easier means in android jetpack there are in build code or library available if we use those library we can make app development fast so we doesn't need to write code again and again we doesn't need a boiler go boiler plate code again and again in our application just use the library and achieve the goal and main advantage in this type of library is that they are high quality apis doesn't have a any kind of error which we make in coding so in build code just we have to use now next what is a room room provide an abstract layer over sqlite so room is not a database room is still using sqlite but in place of sqlite open helper and sqlite database class we are using a room api so room api are different classes those are used to interact with the sqlite database but these are different and faster than the older method so room provide an abstract layer over sqlite abstract layer means that there are some classes those interacting with sqlite but you doesn't know how they are interacting to allow flan database access flan database access while harnessing the full power of sqlite means you can make a fast interaction with sqlite without making a hard code and you can take a full power of sqlite also so it's very good so room is now considered as a better approach of data persistence then sqlite database or sqlite open helper class so i have explained you also this is a better method and it's having a better classes better api those do faster interaction with sqlite as compared to sqlite database or sqlite open helper in case of sqlite database and sqlite open helper we have to write code manually and for if you want to learn the sqlite database or sqlite open helper you can go to my previous video in which i have explained each and every concept of these also so now it make this room make easy to work with sqlite database decrease the amount of boilerplate code and verify sqlite query at compile time means before running your code at the compile time you remove your all the error that means your application is more robust and more advantages and more useful as compared to older method of sqlite so it's very good just write less amount of code and do the same thing which we were doing in the older method now why use room why we have to use room because compile time verification of sql sql query is possible in room each annotation at the rate query and at the rate entity is check at the compile time means when we are creating a table and we are doing some operation on database all these things is check at the run time the table name also missing syntax also each and everything is done at the compile time but in case of sqlite database boiler code everything is only everything is check at the run time so we know in coding that compile time error removal is better than run time error removal so one more advantage here in no boiler plate code boiler plate means the repetition of code so we does not need to repeat the code again and again as we repeat in the older techniques now in room there is no repetition of code easy integrated with each other architecture means if we want to link this room with other architecture also like live data 
or like list view like recycler view so it is very easy to interact with those architecture also that is not possible in older method of sqlite open helper or sqlite database classes so it is very good now major problem with sqlite uses are we were using sqlite so these are the problem what is there is no compile term verification of row sql query if i write a select insert update delete query and if i write wrong query so there is no verification of those code because the code is sqlite query those sqlite query may be wrong maybe i write wrong uh, column name i write wrong table name but it cannot be checked it can only be checked at the run time when query will run so this is a biggest advantage the biggest disadvantage in sqlite for example if we write a sql query with a wrong column name that doesn't exist in real database then it will give exception during run time and we cannot capture this issue during compile time so there is a problem in compile time error verification in SQLite database as we as as your schema change means if we change something in in our code so we need to update the affected sql query manually also if suppose i change the name of the table so i have to change the query also in query i have to change the table name also column name also so this is the time consuming error if we forget to update then it will generate error so these are the older methods of coding not suitable for nowadays so we need to use lots of boilerplate code to convert sqlite query and java data object means there are so many code which we have to repeatedly write for making a coding of sqlite database and not easy to convert those query into the java object java object or java pozo code pozo means the plain old java object so we have to convert the database code into class so it is not easy to convert the normal database data into class in plain method but by using a room api we just convert the database in terms of classes it's very easy now the main advantage and disadvantage in reference of room and sqlite so sqlite deal with row query but in room there is no row query means in sqlite we have to use insert update and delete query the plain sqlite query SQL, sql query but in room we doesn't require any these types of query no compile time verification of row sqlite query in sqlite there is no compile time verification but in room we have a compile time check for sqlite statements sqlite need lot of boilerplate code sqlite need lot of code that we, that we repeat again and again but in room it doesn't repeat any code we doesn't use boilerplate boilerplate code sqlite are low level so more time more effort to build app sqlite is a low level of programming means manually we have to extend a class and we have to make a coding we have to perform insertion abstraction deletion operations we have to override methods so this is a low level of programming need more effort more time and more experience also and database knowledge is also required by the programmer but in case of room a programmer doesn't require to learn sqlite database and doesn't require to learn sql query so without learning sql query we can make it programming of sqlite so we can use view model also live data also we can use other architecture also with room so it's more advantageous as compared to sqlite database now there are three components in room database this component are entity entity means the table in database so one entity means one table and one class one class represent the one entity then dao dao is the <coughs> class which uh, have the methods to access the database like insert update delete operations we perform so we declare a method we doesn't implement the code just we declare the method and we do the operation in database on these entity this database is the holder means the single point of contact where we link all the entity and dao and access the room api from the database so for this we use annotation database for dao we use annotation dao and for entity we use the annotation entity 
in detail we will read all these things and we will take experience also in in future video in which i will explain each and every operation in a practical way so this is the architecture of the room component if you see there is a uh, app, rest of the api uh, app is there we have a entity we have a data access object dao and we have a room database so all these are used to access the information so entity is a field and represent the table data access object in have the operations and the functions these are going to be performed on this entity and room database having all this information and get the do for performing an operation with the sqlite now you see the room architecture so there is a android application and this android application having an entity do and a room database so our application get the object of do by using room database and this room database interact with the sqlite database by using do and entities so by this way we can understand the concept of room room database and this is the architecture is given in front of you this room database which we are using here this room database is not a special kind of database inbuilt it using sqlite just is a code or api that having a better high level libraries those are used to interact with sqlite database still in room we are using sqlite database we cannot replace the sqlite database because database still is sqlite but now we have a more experience and more better api or code available in place of older sqlite open helper and sqlite database classes so this is the theory of room api or room persistence library in next video we will learn how to insert update delete and display record from the sqlite database by using room api or room database concept till then bye see you again Thank you.